Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I will show you how you can add a pricing call calculator or a cost estimator logic to your Elementor Pro forms using dynamic content for Elementor plugin. This is really powerful and it's highly helpful for websites for, such as digital agency websites. So your clients can pick different options and you can show them an estimated cost based on the options that they pick. This can be done natively using Elementor and dynamic .00's dynamic content. The way you do it is simple. First, just drag in your Elementor Pro form. So let's say I'm a digital agency. I make websites for my clients. And first, I want to have a name field that I can use to contact him. Also, I'll make all the fields in the form required. So the first field is name. Under advanced, change ID to name if it's not name. Also make it required so that the client has to enter this when he visits our website. Well, you might be wondering, uh, this is a cost or price estimated form and is it okay to have other fields that are not numbers? It's totally fine. All that we have to do is to make sure that numbers are only involved in the cost estimated field. I'll show you that in a bit. So I also have an email field. I'll also change the ID to email if it's not already. I'll also make this required. I'll show you how you can use these two fields at the end of this video. And the next field is a number. So I just want to know the number of pages that client wants me to build. And per page, I'll charge him 50 bucks. So I'll change the label to number of pages. So based on the number of pages, that he enters, I'll charge him $50 per page. So I have to multiply this with 50. Under advanced, I'll change ID to number. So the content is this. I'll also make this required. Next, I want to ask him if he really wants to have SEO as an added service or if he can do it his, himself. So how can you do that, right? You can do that by using radio buttons. And you might be wondering, how do I enter values using the radio buttons? It's quite simple. So I'll choose the type as radio and this is SEO so for included all you need to do is to hold down shift key and press on the backward slash and it will give this pipe character and after that you have to enter a value for this particular option so I'll enter with SEO I'll charge him $150 more and in the next line I'll say excluded and this can be anything this can be any word but after the vertical bar or the pipe character this has to be a number the value has to be a number so without SEO I'll just not charge him anything so the value is zero right so the first logic says number of pages I'll multiply that with 50 and if he picks SEO included I'll charge him 150 more and then I want to give him an option so this time I'll pick a select field and I'll say number of years you want to work with us. So based on the number of years that he'll work with us, I'll charge him even more or I'll charge him lesser, relatively lesser amount. So the first line can be anything. So I'll say one year, it can be one or one year, it doesn't matter. After the pipe character or the vertical bar, it has to be a number. So for one year, I'll just not charge him anything because I'm already charging him base charge of 50 per page. That's a markup for our services. So for two years, I'll charge him 140 bucks extra for three years if he decides to work with me for three years I'll just charge him 240 bucks extra so I'll maintain his website for three years if he gives me this much extra and if he just wants to work with me he, within one year he can contact me he won't have any additional charge he'll have the maintenance included in this package okay now that we have set all the logic how do you actually display the form total or the price estimated total? I'll just click on add item. I'll change this field. Since you have dynamic installed, there's a field called amount. I'll pick that. So I'll say amount in total. Or I'll say estimated amount in total. So based on the options he picks, it will be displayed. Let's also change the ID of SEO from field one to SEO. Let's change the number of years under advanced. Let's change the ID to years. It can be anything, it doesn't matter. And this is the formula that you need to add. Well, it shows in the placeholder 
what you need to uh, the proper syntax to calculate the amount it says form and then field underscore one and field underscore one is the id of the field that you want in the expression so first i want number of pages multiplied by 50 right so pages has an id of number so all i have to say is within square brackets form colon number and to multiply it with 50 i need to enter star so this is how you multiply in uh, computer programming and stuff so i'll just multiply it with 50 i'll just check if the advanced has an idea of number yes it's a number so form number and then if he picks seo i'll add that value to it so i'll just say plus again square braces form colon seo so this form colon seo within square braces all this will be replaced by the value he picks here if he picks included 150 will be added here if he picks excluded this value will be replaced by zero which is essentially the same as before again to that i'll add the number of years field which is years again i need to say square brackets form colon and i need to give the id of that field and this will display the total amount in dollars right you may not see the preview here so i'll update this form also make all fields required because if he misses one of the fields the logic will make all fields required that's fine even name and email required i'll update this again now i'll go back to my front end i'll just click on this preview changes button so the preview loads this is the front end and let's enter my name i'll enter some email also since this is an elementor form you can also add a recapture verification to it so you won't have any spam entries to the form number of pages again let's say i want 20 pages and you may not see the total here but the moment you click other field you will see the total estimated amount being reflected so per page i'm charging him 50 bucks since i entered 20 it's showing me it's 1000 bucks with seo included again it shows 150 bucks more if i choose this option you can see it shows 1000 bucks again number of years if he picks two years i'll charge him 140 bucks more just like that i'll charge him 240 bucks more i'll also pick seo and it adds 150 bucks more so with 20 pages and seo included for three years this is the estimated total that he has to pay me in order to get his work done let's also change this number to something else i'll change it to 10 so 10 multiplied by 50 is 500 that included with seo is 650 and plus 240 for one year i'll just pick one year and you can see the total estimated amount here so 500 plus 150 650 since for one year i'm not charging him anything that's the amount for two years i'm charging him 140 bucks more for three years i'm charging him 240 bucks above the base amount of this so that's my logic I can modify this logic you can even do not just multiplications and additions you can also do subtractions and divisions so within rounded braces so if I add rounded brace it means I'm grouping couple of operations or couple of calculations so let's say I just want the average of SEO and years so I'll just add these fields divide that by two and then add the total to this particular base amount so I can simply say I can add rounded braces divided by 2 now our logic is modified let's see how that works I'll go to the front end again I need to make some entries number of pages let's say I want 10 pages so the base amount also you have to make sure that the number of pages is a positive number you cannot accept negative numbers because it doesn't make any sense I select the number of pages it says 500 amount 500 dollars i just want seo included and i'll change two years now the amount is a bit modified for seo included it's 150 bucks right 
so for SEO included it's 150 bucks and for two years it's 140 bucks so 290 bucks divided by 2 that's the amount that we are adding to 500 290 divided by 2 is essentially 145 bucks right so that's what we are adding to the number of pages base amount you can do any complex logic based on you can also use this for hotel reservations so based on the number of room hip picks uh, and the number of people in the room and so on you can calculate the base amount and if he wants an extra bed you can add that to the base amount and you can do all sorts of complex logic so this is how you add pricing estimator to your Elementor website all by using Elementor Pro Forms and dynamic dot triple O's amount field and it's really helpful it has so many use cases this can be used to show him an interest in case he's renting a car renting a gadget and the applications go on and on it's up to you and your creativity to use this amount field that's a quick tutorial showing you how you can add this amount field to add calculations you can do complex calculations and can you can group group of calculations by using rounded braces so this is the format you have to understand square braces form colon and you have to enter the ID of that particular field and that's how it works and these fields used in this amount expression should be numbers they can also be floating digits or uh, they can also have decimals in them so let's say I can add 150.5 to my SEO and for excluded I'll just add 45.99 bucks or let's say for included I'll just add 59.99 bucks I'll change the formula again just to make it clear I'll remove this rounded brace from here even from I'll also remove the divided operation so now it's the base number multiplied by 50 and then we add SEO and then we also add years since SEO is a digit, uh, decimal we'll get uh, an output in decimal number I'll update this I'll go back here I need to fill the form again that's kind of a bummer so I'll fill my name email don't forget to add recapture verification to your form you can also add honeypot to your form since it's an elementor pro form so that you can prevent all the bots from entering or spamming your forms let's change number of pages to 10 Again, like I said you have to keep the minimum number of pages to 1 so I'll change the number of pages to 10 I cannot use the step to click this below a positive number so number of pages 10 I'll say SEO included and you can see the decimal digit being reflected in the amount so based on your typical calculations you can also show him a digital decimal digit or uh, in other words in computer terms it's called a floating digit anyway uh, whatever you want so based on the formula that you want to apply using simple math you can show him a pricing amount based on you can also use that with the conditional logic which is found in these forms to do even more complex math but I think this kind of logic is enough to show most common price estimates on your Elementor website coming back to the name and email field why did we even have name and email field well within actions after submit you can add an action of email you can also save it to your database I've shown this earlier by using the same dynamic plugin and this email you can basically email him so you can tell him so to this can be the short code of the email and subject and here you can tell him that hey you've contacted us regarding this particular website which includes these many number of pages these many SEOs and in order to add the actual value you just need the short code of the field in Elementor so if I say you have 10 pages I just need to say you have I, I need to paste the short code of the pages here so I'll go to form fields and click on the number of pages get the sh short code of the pages and within my email I can simply say you have a requirement of these many pages and you have asked us to include SEO and so on you can fill this message and you can send it to him and 
right below everything else you can link your portfolio or send him a link to your portfolio so that he can check out your portfolio and he can get back to you in addition to sending him an email you're also saving this particular form to your database that way you'll also keep track in case you want to get back to him you can just mail him saying hey you've filled a form entry on my website uh, regarding your website uh, I can help you with that let's get started and something like that so that's how you add or use this conditional form logic together with other actions supported with dynamic plugins that's it for now hope you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up this is Karthik from WP Algorithm I'll talk to you in the next one thank you for watching see you in the next one peace